Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today we are playing Star Maid. And it is finally here. Update to version 0.201.339a, as of uh, right now. Oh, oh, so let's see. Oh, let's see here, where is it? Uh, a reactor block, and a stabilizer, and yeah, that should do. Let's see. Let's do a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. One of those, and let's put this over here. Notice something different. You are correct. There's no power sausage. The power stream is gone. Also, integrity is gone. Most things, when they lose integrity, that's not good. StarMate, on the other hand, it is excellent when it loses integrity. Let's see. Assumption looking through here. No integrity. Also, I think that's a much shorter distance for the stabilization. Let's check that out by pulling up excuse me, my mantis fighter. Admin load that bad boy. Yes, you did see something a little different there. Uh stabilization's thirty point four percent. So no, pardon me, so nothing's really changed. I thought uh, I thought stabilization was a little closer. I eh, guess not. Okay. We also have a few other nifty odds and ends here. So let's hop back in this build block and let's show them off. Uh, probably one of the neater things we have, other than the death of the power sausage and integrity, is this. Let's see. Yes, this is a uh, turret axis. All right, I have the turret axis there. I'm looking at this turret. My little circly mouse thing is on the turret. I press U. I come down here. Uh, let's get a nine two C turret. That is for a nine by nine by a nine by nine square. It has two cannon outputs. Admin load, spawn docked. Check that. And when it spawns in, it spawns docked to whatever uh, rail I was pointing at. See? I can't push it out of the way. In fact, let's hop in here and... Yep, it has spawned docked. <laughs> this is going to make life so much easier. Uh, for example, um, let's see... Uh, see, I want rail on right, looking to the middle. It's right here. And let's just go on this side, so we don't get hurt. Uh, hit you. Spawn. Let's spawn in. I don't know. Let's spawn in a box fighter. A box fighter. Admin load. Spawn is docked. Okay. Ha! A box fighter is now spawned right here. Isn't that great? I'm happy. I'm thinking of a different fighter I made that had a, two levels. Ah. Ah, and that's just glorious. We could end right now and I'd be happy. But there's more. Uh, some notable differences. Uh, let's see. White lights. Oh, beacons. And let's grab a red light, too. Uh, see if we get six and T. You notice the, the white uh, light bars have been added to the multi-blocks in the, um, under the light. Let's see, light rods. Oh, looky there. Look at that. Isn't that glorious? The light rod is no longer a, a sprite. Uh, the, the, the two sprites glued together in, like, an X form. Or like the old, old trees from old... First-person shooters and whatnot. The light bars are now actually three-dimensional objects. Awesome. Oh, there's some beacon. Uh, beacon light bars now. Whoa. Okay, that's neat. All right. Oh, that didn't do quite right. There we go. And we now have, well, of course, we've always had light bars in our... Um, Light sticks. What are these called? Light rods, in uh, 
different colors, but now we have light bars in different colors. Ooh. This is going to make life so interesting. I think you can even turn them off. And have, like, red poles or something. Red stripes, maybe even, like, red wiring that runs. So can we do something like that? Yeah. There's an easier way to do this, but hey. Huh. You can probably make some really nifty designs from that. Let's see. Can I hit with this red unit here? Come on. There we go. And they come in all colors. If you want, you can have pink lights. Here we go. Here's a pink light bar. All right. Uh, see, what other new things are there? Uh, that was the wrong button. Uh, see, I might be missing something, but I believe these are the the new blocks. They're the first uh, version I was playing with. They didn't have icons, and that was kind of interesting working with them. All right. I'm saying those aren't new blocks. Those are greats. We've had those for some time now. Yes, yes, we have. But check this out. Actually, no, 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 no. I want to do something like... Oh! I also have this angle one now. Huh. Alright. Let's see. Yes, I'm making little lanes here. Alright. I'm in gravity. Watch this, it's magic. Oh, I'm walking between the grates. Yes, it is true. Uh, these grates now obey, or now don't take an entire block. Uh, last week, when you wanted to do this, you couldn't. You'd stop here and you'd hold down W and and you'd just stare at it like it was a full block. Nope. Now we can walk through them. Apparently we can even walk up them. If you want, you can have a little cage here. Like a little baby play crib thing. Oh, it's glorious. Ooh. And we have these triangle pieces. Alright, I want to play with the triangle pieces for a minute. I have I have not played with the triangle pieces yet. Um, let's see, it's some gray here. How do they work with wedges? So let's build me a little wedge unit. Alright, uh, that should be fine. Okay, there we go, and now I can do something like that. Come on. You can do it. I know you can. Oh, that looks nice. It looks very nice. So let's rip these out. And put a whole unit here. And come back with these. Ah, now... I have my wedge rails, so now instead of having these weird railings for ramps, I can actually have something that looks half decent. Oh, it's glorious. Oh, 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 check this out, check this out. Creative mode, I have my pistol. Pew, pew, pew. I can shoot in between the rails of the rail, mostly. Whee! That's cool. Uh, that might be a little bad for, um, you know, like, armor or something, but if I get in a fight in a prison, I can shoot through the rails. All right! <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Okay, let's hop back into creative mode. We also have these nifty little units. This is a small button, and this is a small activation module that's upside down. Okay. Oh, come on. And it works just like a button, or just like an activation module. Although the logic wiring with them does seem to be a bit weird. I haven't played an awful lot with it, but it, it doesn't seem to work quite right. Alright, so let's set up some lights. Let's see a light there. Actually, you want that there. So you can hit this. 
and it's just like a, a regular activation module. This button should act like a regular button, and it does. Now, what if... Uh, let's see, I would like a flip-flop or something of that nature. But back here... Yeah, the logic tubes are a little strange with the push buttons, so right now they're probably best left for lighting instead of actually using in logic, because they they uh, do funny like that. But they look nice! Oh, 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 also new thing, we have different colors of, of uh, consoles, so no, you don't just have the blue anymore. Now you have all these other pretty colors. Uh, and, as you just saw, we have corner pieces for all of them. And not just corner pieces, but we also have outside corner pieces. So if you want to make your game a Simon like this, there you go, you'll have to figure up the logic yourself. Or, um, for those of you who want, like making uh, Doctor Who replicas, this would make a decent uh, TARDIS console. I really like these corner pieces. These are looking good, I like these. Only thing you'd make them better if they were animated. Hear that, Koo Poo? I want these animated. Alright. The beautiful design on them. I love these new blocks. Uh, let's see, there was another... Oh, another new one is the metal bar. And it is exactly what it says on the tin. It's a metal bar. You can spin it up this way, and... There you go. It also has this metal cornery piece here. Best I can tell, it is a basically a a uh, a light bar, one of these units, except solid gray. Ah, oh, that's glorious! And of course, you can shoot through that because there's huge gaps. <laughs> uh, other things. Oh, 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 oh! We need some paint. Uh, I'd like to look at some partner, some, a capsule, uh, another capsule, and one of those. All right. Paint is now a three-dimensional object. Hardener, apparently, is now a three-dimensional object. Capsules are now three-dimensional objects. Laramar crystals are now three-dimensional objects. Although it does look like uh, the there's some transparency issues with the glass on them, but they're still beautiful. I can't wait to start using these. I need to make a science lab, because that looks awesome. Uh, instead of just straight... where is it? Boring old pipe, do you mean? No, no, no new pipe shapes. Instead of just boring old gray pipe, which is glorious in its own right, you can have yellow pipe or green pipe with hazard stripes. What was that? That was... let's see what advanced hardener. That should be red with... yeah, and it's red with hazard stripes. Oh, it's Christmas piping. Let's see... can I do something like this? Whee! How well do these units... mesh? Actually, that looks pretty nice. I like that. Oh, we can make some glorious machines with these. Alright, there we go. Actually, those match pretty good, too. Again, the little transparency error there. Or error. Uh, you can see through the, uh, the station. And into the void. But yeah, those are... The new box, more or less. I don't think there's many... Oh, oh, I haven't checked plants. No, there's still the weird uh, 2D units. Yeah. For those of you unfamiliar, 
these uh all these used to be the same as well as these light rods used to be the same as this filthy space of avocado huh placing blocks is a little strange on the space of or on the light blocks that doesn't seem right huh okay also, getting rid of them, clicking on them, is a little tricky. Lit up. Space avocado is red. I don't know. Almost looks like this is still giving off. Or is it the purple it's picking up? Purple pink. Oh, it was the pink it was picking up. They're making the space avocado look red. Not avocado. What is that? Oh, good grief, my brain went dead. Asparagus. Not asparagus. Artichoke. That's the word I was looking for, not avocado. Artichoke. But anyway, death of the power sausage, death of integrity, which are the two best things, death of integrity in particularly. That means we can now build a small ship that doesn't require an enormous thruster, an enormous gun. It also brings back decorative uh, system blocks. So you can use uh, shields as decorative blocks again. Or anything you want, actually. Uh, we have these fiffy metal bars. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Oh, it is glorious. It's going to be gloriouser. <laughs> Alright, anywho. I hope you've had fun with... I hope, no, I know you're going to have fun with this update. I'm going to have fun with this update. I have to go build something. I don't know what it is, and I don't care. I just need to go build something. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, we're going to have fun with these new blocks. I wasn't sure what I was thinking about all these LOD blocks, but I think I think they do fit. I think they look nice. Particularly these, uh, particularly these nice new console blocks. Uh, anywho, I've been JW608. This has been StarMade, and I'll dig you cats later.